hello everyone so today in this so in this video i am going to tell you about control flow statement which is if else statement so what are control flow statement control flow syntax make use of columns and identations the identation statement is crucial for python and what is sets is apart from other programming languages so that means uh, uh, if else is a control if else is a control uh, controls related statement control flow statement and there is a condition related statements you all know if you are from any other programming language you, you all know so, uh, if else condition so suppose that is uh, so if you are writing a program with if else statement if you are providing a condition and then you write the value so in uh, so what happens in python if you give give the condition and you have to give a colon and then if you start it from here you will get a error so you have to maintain your identification you have to give a space or you can do or you can or you can press tab and you and you have to be in this line so you have to write the value of the error what what will be your what will be your value and then else you have to you have to come to the next line and if you and if you give else and if you start it from over here you will get an error or if you don't give this uh, colon of uh, colon over here you will also get an error and the, in and if there is a nested if so in that case what uh, what what is the syntax in python if elif else so if condition you have to provide some you have to provide colon otherwise you will get an error and you have to you have to maintain your orientation if you start it from a, from here also you will get error you have to start from you have to either give a space or you can or you can give tab it will look better and give the condition over here elif condition tab and give the condition over here and as condition give the tab over here so these are the basic syntax of the um, basic syntax of the if else statement and if elif else statement in python so let's go so let's do about programming so suppose uh, we are checking uh, some simple programming n equals to 5 so i uh, we are checking the if n is even or not if n mod 2 equals to equals to 0 then you have to give over here print even else oh sorry if n mod 5 equals to equals to 0 yeah print even else print ah uh, I again did a mistake what is it if n mod 2 equals to equals to 0 print even else print odd so basically uh, sorry for the so much of mistake I did some mistake over here basically what is uh, what we are doing we are checking if the number is even or odd so we we have taken n equals to 5 so basically we all know that 5 is odd number so uh, so what is the syntax if n mod 2 equals 2 equals 0 mod 2 always return the remainder so it will not remain returns any absolute digit so if it does not return any absolute digit so it will provide odd or if it is divisible by 2 so it will return even so in that case what we have done if n mod 2 equals 2 equals 0 and we have give a colon over here and then you can either put space or you pro you can put tab tab press tab press tab because the, in tab you, you will get the proper animation and it will provide it will it will provide you with some less error and you can easily understand print even and and after that don't press to uh, to enter and you have to write the else over in this part only else colon print odd so do like this and then again press and enter to go out of the ethers block so it is printing odd so so this so this is the statement like this and now we are checking for events so suppose n equals to 4 uh, if n mod 2 equals to equals to 0 print even else print odd so now the number is even so it will return the res result in even so uh, let's take a value of n equals to 0 okay so in this case we will use a 
two statement if elif and else if n if n mod if n mod two equals equals zero then even elif n equals equals zero Uh, uh, it will. You have to give like this. F n equals to equals to zero. Print. Print. The number is equal to zero. Elif n mod two equals to equals to zero. Print even like and then provide the else print odd. So in this case, the number is equals to zero. Uh, sorry for the previous mistake because you have to uh, uh, if you do like this, it will print uh, it will give the result as even. So what I have done. I have I have assigned an n value with zero and it's and then and I have and I have given nested if statement. So what I am checking is that if n is equals to equal to zero, then print the number is equals to zero. Elif n mod two equals to equals to zero, print the number is even. Else print the number is odd. So number is equals to zero. So in that uh, so in this case, uh, mm, the console is printing the first value, which is the number is equals to zero. So this is the so this is the basic properties of the if. Uh, elif else statement and if else statement. So I am. Um, so we can do. Uh, so uh, uh, we can do a lot, a lot of things with the if, uh, if elif and else statement. So these are the simple features. And remember, and remember one thing carefully. You should, you should always maintain the identification. If you don't maintain the identification, you will get error. Like I, I, I'm. You will give the what type of error do you, you will get? You will get the identification error. N equals to two. If n Mod two equals to equals to zero. If it will print odd. See, you are you are getting the result identification error because you have to maintain the identification. You can either put space or you can either press tab over here and you can maintain the identification with that. Uh, remember this carefully. Otherwise, your program will become other otherwise your program will become wrong. I I always prefer to use tab because tab uh, if you put space over here it is giving it is moving the cursor like this and if you and if you press tab it is uh, it is identifying a space like up to this so if you are writing a small program uh, suppose three or four lines so space is okay but if you are writing a huge program means suppose a uh, hundred lines two hundred lines then tab is useful because there there will be many there will be many identification in that program so you can't maintain. By 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 putting space, so you have to look at each and every step, or or your program may get error, or your program may fail due to identification because space doesn't provide you much space like this this word, and tab is provide you a huge uh, as a much better uh, greater space than the tab uh, space. Sorry, so tab. Uh, so I will prefer to use tab in the in a much larger program, so it looks clear and it looks clean. So I hope you have all understood about the if else and if elif else statement, which is the control flow statement. So thank you for watching the video.